friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariane. I am a luxury travel advisor based in Vancouver, Canada. And today is cruise day. I am so excited to be taking you along as we unfortunately check out of the gorgeous Royal Hawaiian Hotel here on Waikiki Beach. But we are boarding Norwegian Cruise Lines Pride of America today. I'm really excited to take you along with me as I board the ship. We also have a really fun sail away uh, party planned on board. Uh, there is a group of us that have been invited to attend this Pride of America inaugural. So um, we're really excited to see what has changed with the Pride of America from my understanding during the pandemic. It has undergone another little bit of a dry dock. Uh, so I'm really excited to show you what has changed on board and what the experience is like. So we unfortunately are now just kind of packing up, ready to go, and we'll see you when we get to the cruise ship. We had an amazing stay at the Royal Hawaiian, a luxury collection resort on Waikiki Beach. If you missed my last episode, I actually highlighted our stay here and showed a few sneak peeks into a couple of the rooms here. After checking out of the Royal Hawaiian, we ordered a taxi and we're on our way to Pier 2 which is the main cruise terminal here in Honolulu, Hawaii to check in for our cruise on Norwegian Cruise Line's Pride of America. The taxi costed just under $18 US from the Royal Hawaiian to the cruise terminal and was actually cheaper than a Lyft or an Uber. Once we arrived at the cruise pier, we dropped our luggage with the porters and went inside. Once inside and through the line, our negative tests were checked along with our vaccination certificates. Then we could go through security. Aloha. Check in, check in. Thank you. Thank you so much. After we received our lays, we checked in at the priority desk and received our cruise carts and also our boarding card, which we were given the first group of boarding card A. I will say that this sailing we were hosted on was on May 2022, so please keep in mind that things and requirements might have already changed by the time this video has been posted. Once we checked in, we were seated socially distanced from others. I really enjoyed the live entertainment of the Hawaiian music. They also had a photo booth station set up and the time went by really quickly. By 11.30 a.m. we were able to board the ship. Unfortunately, our rooms were not quite ready when we boarded, so we made our way to dining reservations to make our restaurant reservations for the week. If you can't make specialty dining reservations through your Cruise Lines app or online before you're sailing, and it is something you want to do, be sure to visit the restaurant reservations desk as soon as you board. Some specialty restaurants do tend to sell out on sailings. Um, aloha! <laughs> this confirms your reservation for Cagney Steakhouse, May 20th at 8.15pm. Another of my cruise tips is to grab a daily at the guest services desk so you know what is open and you can plan your afternoon. It was then time for lunch on the Pride of America. We grabbed a table out at the very aft of the ship outside to enjoy the fresh air and views. Thank you. 
Unfortunately, some of the specialty restaurants, such as Moderno's, which is the Brazilian restaurant on board the Pride of America, was closed for our sailing. However, I did want to give you a sneak peek inside. The buffet area on the Pride of America was called Aloha Cafe, and it did have some good choices, and it was also self-service. We did typically eat breakfast here each morning and sat outside at the aft of the ship. Here, they also had water, juices, tea, and coffee stations. Skyline Restaurant on Deck 5 and Liberty Restaurant on Deck 6 are the main dining rooms here on board the NCL Pride of America located at the aft of the ship. Jefferson's Bistro, or better known as Le Bistro on other Norwegian cruise line ships, is located on Deck 5 and serves delicious French cuisine. It was then time to check out our cabin. We had cabin 9630, which is a balcony cabin on the Pride of America. We did have to ask our room steward to make the queen bed into two twin beds as I had brought my aunt along with me on this sailing, but it's honestly no trouble for them at all. The room was quite spacious with a separate small couch. The balcony was also a decent size with the chairs having leg rests, which were a plus. There was also a fair bit of storage, a mini fridge, including a safe, which was on the smaller size and unfortunately did not fit my laptop. The outlets in the room were all North American outlets and a few of the USB outlets by the beds in the lamps. The bathroom was also a decent size. The corner mirror also opened which provided some additional storage which was handy. The shower was great however it was a shower curtain and not a door. The closet was also a good size with plenty of storage nooks inside as well. It was then time to explore more of Norwegian Cruise Line's Pride of America. We headed up to Deck 12 for views of the Ocean Drive Bar and the two main pools below. Paul's Fitness Center is located at the aft of Deck 12. The fitness equipment was in really good shape. They also have different fitness classes available each day. However, most of these are at an additional charge. We then did a quick spa tour of the Mandara Spa and Salon at the aft of Deck 12 next to the fitness center. I was able to take a peek into the thermal suite which includes a sauna, steam room and of course a few heated loungers. We then explored more of the aft of the Pride of America outdoors where there is another hot tub with more comfortable lounge chairs. This was the Waikiki Bar on Deck 13 which overlooked the Oasis Pool down below on Deck 12. We 
headed back to our room to get ready for our sail away party and found a couple lovely gift bags for each of us from Norwegian Cruise Lines. We then headed down to Cadillac Diner, which was our muster station for the muster drill. This was the first time on a cruise since the cruise restart that I actually had to attend a muster drill at my station in person. Typically on other cruise lines, I've only had to check in at my station after watching the safety briefing on my stateroom's television. It was then time for our very special sail away party. If I can direct your attention here to the bar, our amazing Hawaiian ambassador will be doing amazing Hawaiian blessings to make sure that our vessel and our journey is safe this week. I'd like to now pass it over to Kaleo as he presents our Hawaiian blessing. Aloha ladies and gentlemen, Kaleo Shemitah, the Hawaiian ambassador. So welcome to our wonderful part of America here in the region cruise lines and you're here in our wonderful islands in Hawaii. So allow me to do this chant to bless our sail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aloha, eh, aloha, eh, aloha, eh. aloha. 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 follow that. I don't have any voice, and I don't speak Hawaiian, so that's zero for two. Um, I I'm going to keep this short. So, just a couple of rules. No jackets this week. So I wore it here just because I'm the president, and I got to do it on the first day to welcome all of you. But this comes off in 20 minutes and never again for the rest of the week. You guys all agree? So, you know, we're, we're thrilled. We have all 17 of our ships back in operation, the Norwegian Spirit, and the entire fleet back in operations. We can't be more thrilled. So here we are, Pride of America. Uh, one of our, our, you know, one of our, our, our beautiful, more intimate ships. She sails Hawaii 52 weeks a year. You guys are in for a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience. So I'm, I'm just to, to tell you guys, we have about a 50% occupancy this week because we're staffing the ship up slowly. Um, I don't know how to say this without saying it. You know, we have the same challenges. This is, you know, mostly American workers, which are great. They're fantastic. They give you great service but we have some of the same challenges that all of the places in the U.S. have with hospitality workers in getting, so there are gonna be a couple of venues closed. Don't be disappointed, enjoy the rest of it. See this venue's open, you're having excellent service. Everywhere you go, it'll be great. And if you can't get into Moderna or La Cucina, that's because they're closed, not because we don't like you. <laughs> but eventually, in like another few months, we'll be fully staffed up and everything's gonna be open. But you guys should have a great time. I ship 50% full in Hawaii. There'll be plenty of deck chairs. We'll get out and off the ship very easily. It'll, you'll be able to get an appointment in the spa if you want. It'll be absolutely fantastic. <laughs> and I haven't, I haven't even had any liquor yet. Uh, so I won't give you a big blessing. I'll just say aloha, welcome aboard, and thank you guys so much for joining. <laughs> We pushed off from the pier at just after 7 o'clock p.m. and sailed away into the sunset from Honolulu on our way to our next port in Maui tomorrow. As we passed by the night lights of Waikiki Beach, it was time for our dinner reservation at the specialty restaurant Jefferson's Bistro or Le Bistro. I ordered the French onion soup to start as I absolutely love Le Bistro's French onion soup, followed by the beef tartare as my second starter. For my main course, I had the filet mignon, which was served with foie gras. 
And for dessert, I had a delicious poached pear with chocolate. Hi everyone, so I really hope you enjoyed today's episode of us boarding the Pride of America here in Honolulu. It really was a great first day, kind of exploring the ship, and now it is time for bed. I'm wearing the lovely Norwegian cruise line robe, and the beds are definitely calling our names. They are very comfortable by the feel of them. So. Thank you again so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does really help grow my channel and lets other people know to watch this episode. And also be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. There are going to be quite a few videos in this Pride of America cruise series coming up. So be sure to subscribe and thanks again so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye. Yay.